I have friends who love serif fonts on everything, even on their Android phones. I also have friends who shoot the serif because they love sans serif better. There are also the kooky ones who prefer font faces such as Comic Sans or Choco Cookie. And then there are the select few who want to make their androids look like wedding invitations. Hi, welcome to Android Authority. I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to talk about changing fonts on your Android phone or tablet. To change fonts on Android, you can use any of several methods. Some don't need root, but others do. Let's talk first about the methods not requiring root. Some handset makers such as Samsung and LG often throw in extra features into their custom versions of Android. Changing system fonts is one such extra feature. On some Samsung devices such as a Galaxy S2, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy Note 10.1, and Galaxy Camera for example, you'll be able to change your device's fonts to one of the pre-installed typefaces. Or, if you want more fonts, you can fetch more from the Google Play Store. On certain LG phones, such as the Optimus G, you can also find a similar font changing function. Another non-root way to use custom fonts on your Android device is to use a custom launcher. Go Launcher EX is awesome at this. This launcher is one of the most popular custom launchers for Android. To use custom fonts in Go Launcher EX, first copy your true type fonts to the Go Launcher EX slash fonts directory on your device. Then launch Go Launcher EX. Tap the menu button here, then go to Preferences, then choose Visual Settings. Swipe to the Font tab, and here you can choose to scan your directories for font files. The scan should be able to find the new fonts that you copied to the fonts directory. Let's see if it's on the list. Oh, yup, here it is. Just tap on it, and presto! Your font is now the default font on Go Launcher. Sadly, Go Launcher EX's font changing abilities is limited to selected parts of the interface. The font changes do not apply system-wide. The iFont app is another way to enjoy custom fonts. This free and ad-free app is primarily intended for non-rooted Samsung devices, but it can also work on rooted devices whether Samsung or not. On a non-rooted Samsung phone, for instance, you can easily change fonts with iFont. Just pick a font from iFont's online tab, download, and install it. Then, go to Settings, Display, Font Style and set the newly installed font as default font. The custom font is applied instantly without rebooting. Things get more interesting with the methods for rooted devices. As always, be very careful when playing with a rooted device. One small mistake could mess up the device. So, be cautious and proceed at your own risk. If you want to use an app to change fonts on your rooted device, I suggest either Font Installer or iFont. Both apps are free. Font Installer is ad-supported, but you can get a license to remove the ads. In Font Installer, you can easily set a local TTF file as default font. Just copy or save a TTF file to your device. Select the font from the list on the Local tab. Then, tap on Install to set it as default font. After your device automatically reboots, the custom font should now be applied as default font. You can also select from Font Installer's online collection of fonts. Just select a font from the Server tab. Then, download and install the font. Afterwards, your device should reboot in order to apply the new font. The iFont app has functions similar to those in Font Installer. If you have a rooted, non-Samsung device, you can still use the iFont app to change fonts. To use a local TTF file as default font, first copy the file to iFont's custom fonts directory on your device. Then, specify the correct font mode. If you have a rooted non-Samsung device, choose System Mode. If you have a rooted Samsung device, choose Samsung Mode. Then, just choose your font from the Custom tab and set it as default font. Depending on the mode you've set, your device will either apply the new font right away or reboot to apply the new font. Or, if you want to use a font from iFont's online catalog, just go to the Online tab, tap on the font you want to use, tap the Set button, and allow your device to apply the new font. If you want to play around with custom fonts the manual way on your Android, you have two choices. To use the Android Debug Bridge or ADB, or to use a file manager app. ADB requires a computer and some knowledge of the command line. 
If you're up for it, see this video's companion article on AndroidAuthority.com for more info. Using a file manager app is much easier. The file manager app must be able to navigate to the root directory. In this example, I'll use my favorite file manager, ES File Explorer, but you can choose any file manager app that you want. First, copy or save a TTF font file to your device, preferably in the slash SD card directory. Then, make sure that ES File Explorer is able to navigate up to root level. Make sure to also enable the mount file system option. Afterwards, go to the slash system slash fonts directory. Be careful here because this is a system directory. You can mess up your device if you make mistakes here. Look for the system font that you want to replace. In this case, roboto-regular.ttf. You must rename it to something else. The renamed file will be your backup. Go back to where you saved your new font file. Rename it into exactly the same file name as the target font file. Then, copy the imposter font file to the slash system slash fonts directory. Thereafter, make the copied file readable to user, group, and other. Also, make the file writable by user. The properties dialog for the file should look like this. Never forget the step. Many hearts have been broken, and many a phone has boot looped because the new file's permissions are incorrect. Lastly, reboot your device and cross your fingers. And here we go. My new custom font is now applied to many parts of the user interface. And so, whatever font changing method you choose, I can assure you that your days of boring default font faces will be over. Just find a method that works and be very careful when dealing with a rooted device. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. Thank you for watching. Until next time. And remember, the power of Android is yours.